I've been getting different comments and messages from people lately who are like, I'm so happy that you're like spending more time trying to make like good intros and like sing well and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm all like, yeah. Oh my gosh. What is up? Oh my gosh. Big guy. Big guy in a big, in a big enclosure. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh! Hi! Yeah, you just want to tell people about stuff? It's like, and then, and then there was, there was, it was, it was the thing, it was green, had wheels, and it made big scary noises, and it drove like right here, and it drove right here. Uh, yeah, it was very scary. It was very scary. And then, and then sometimes those things go flip, 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 flip when it's windy, and then, and that's also kind of scary too, and it's, I'm, this is new and this is really cool and the food is really good here and like there's toys and big stuff but it's it's look it's just a lot to just take in at once and you know I'm a little bit emotional right now <laughs> I'm a little bit emotional ah. yeah it's okay you're allowed to be you're allowed to be a little emotional oh my gosh ah. Ezzy it's funny because Heidi was uh because he's, he's got these cute little moves and stuff like that. And Heidi started saying, she's like, she's, what, you sound like Chewy. Like a Chewbacca. Like a Chewbacca. That Chewbacca. <laughs> uh, and of course, because the Z is, 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 you know, Zara, ZZ, Mika, Meezy. And then she wanted to do Ezra, Z, as the, there's like the Z, the Z motif. That's kind of the thing. So then she, like Heidi said, Chewy. And then I said, oh my gosh, what about Cheesy? Uh, yeah, you're Cheesy. I think he's gonna have a bunch of names, <laughs> to be honest. I think he's gonna have a few different names. Oh, there's truck. I know, there's different stuff, bud. Different stuff. It's just gonna take some getting used to. But you are doing really great. You're very brave. You're very brave. <laughs> I don't want to be brave. I don't want to be brave. You're good, bud. Oh. Everyone is pretty much head over heels over this little guy. They really are. I mean, falling in love instantly. Instantly. Hello all you big cat lovers out there, it's me Derek again, welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi! Hello! We're here, this is the Thursday webcast, even though I'm filming it on a Sunday. Oh, <sighs> Having a good time. Having a good time, doing some stuff. Look at this. Oh, that's great. That... Firebug, that's pretty perfect. You're pretty perfect. Peets cannot touch. Well, one peat can be wet, but two peats at the same time getting wet? Are you mad, sir? Are you mad? We are civilized tigers. Good day. Oh, nano nano. Nanner nanner beans. Oh, had some strong had some strong storms pass through the area last night. They didn't go overhead, but we certainly got the winds. Got the winds from the storms. Didn't get the rain. As you can see, things are starting to get a little bit yeller. Yeller and brain. Yeller and Bran! We need the rain! We need the rain. It just stinks when things start to just get crinkly. No fun. No good. Boo boo. Bonnie boo. <laughs> Woke up this morning early because we're cleaning enclosures. And power was out. So you're thinking, great, 
not only did we not get rain, but we got the wonderful joy of having a power outage anyway. At least give us something. It's like, nope. You're just going to get the negative stuff. You're just going to get the negative stuff. So, of course, you know, I sit there and it's just like, oh my gosh, hashtag FML. I have it so rough, guys. I have it so rough. Pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> Granted, you know, we want to make sure that the uh, power gets back on in a relatively quick time frame because, of course, we've got to have our, have our freezer, which is a cooler, but still. And, of course, we've got, we've got pumps that are controlled by electricity for our water. And then once the, the day kind of kicks in, we've got cooling systems and misters and fans. That all runs on electricity. So in the morning, it's like, yeah, this is a minor inconvenience. It's kind of an annoyance. But if we were to kind of go into the day and we still didn't have power, that would be a big, that'd be a more of a to-do. That would be, we'd have to kind of call and get a generator kind of brought in thing. But they brought it back up, which is good. Which is good. <laughs> yep. Power out from the storms. Or so I thought. Uh, uh, something else happened. Something else happened. I ended up getting a call later on this morning. So. <laughs> of course, Diwali is Diwali kind of bit Nadal's back, and but Nadal's just like, I am going to sit here, and he didn't ask like, Hey, is there room? Do you mind if I came in here and sat down? He is like, I am like, move over, make room. Nadal is here. I had to get a call from. Um, a rancher who uh, appeared, you know, to be a bit emotional, went on to tell a story about a semi-truck that smacked a power pole in the local area, and power pole landed on this person's property, and then they had uh, a number of their calves, they were like, four or five hundred pounds but a couple of their calves like walked onto the live lines like right after it happened and like zapped them you know to, to death here and that's why we didn't have power that's why we didn't have power i'm sitting there thinking just like curse you lightning or wind or whatever it was Ugh. meanwhile these other people they're having a terrible morning really bad they were very broken up about the whole thing. Very, very visibly uh, distraught, emotional. Not a good time for them. Not a good time for them. I think that they cared very deeply uh, for those animals. The calves. So, yeah. I guess it was one of those kind of things where I had to kind of take a step back. And then I had to kind of take inventory, make sure that I wasn't uh, being a Mr. Complainy Pants. You know, sure, maybe you're in a situation that is less desirable, but doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't others who have it worse. Because most of the time, that's how that goes. Hey, shh. Hey bud. Hey bud. Hey bud. Hey bud. We're gonna just try something. We just try something. Okay. Such a weird thing. 
There's different rules. I'll tell you about it here. Just a second. Let me get out of here. We got their new age music on. Couple of, couple of hippies. Couple of hippies. These guys are. It's working with Heidi. Working with Heidi and the boys for a bit. We got, uh, we got tour groups going on, so I am not going to go that way. Sorry. Gonna have to see Apollo in the car another time. Working with Heidi, and there's just doing different things. Um, working with her and Raleigh and Zubiri, and just ways of approach and body language. And we're starting to kind of paint a, a much more clear picture about what's kind of going on. And yeah, it is. There's a there's a few different things that are happening. It's certainly like a show of do, it's a it's a show of dominance. Raleigh very much so wants to show me like this is who I am, boss. I am boss. If there was any if there was ever any questions about it, it's me. I am I am the boss. And don't forget it. But then there's also weird things where like there's emotional conflict. There's 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 conflicted emotions happening. Because there's times where it's like he still wants to see me as daddy. That he still wants to he still wants to there's times where he wants to be a baby, but he's growing up and it's like he's got a he's he's a lion and he has to he has to show you know who's an alpha and because he has kind of viewed me as that kind of I guess in an alpha way like a dad kind of thing yeah it just makes sense Malita you were you were acting a lot nicer earlier you were acting so much nicer earlier So, yeah, that's just what he's going through. And it was because, like, when Heidi is there and there's certain things going on, like, we can kind of get into this mode where it's fine. And if I'm approaching and if I'm, if I'm not, there's certain things as far as, like, not making eye contact and having certain body language and making sure that I'm, I'm low and I'm low to the ground. There's a couple of different kind of things that you got to do to kind of, you're, you're changing, you're communicating to him through your body language that you're communicating intent and then also like letting him know like yeah 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 no I acknowledge you you're the boss you're the dude you're the man but then also getting close enough to be able to say like hey what's up bud you can you can be a baby if you want to and then he's like I am so I, I want to be a baby and then he's and then he starts melting and he gets mushy I am a baby yeah it's it's strange it's a strange time but it just takes that's what it takes it just takes patience and it just takes you know awareness and understanding and just knowing some moments are gonna work and then some moments are not gonna work but it's just you got to keep on moving it's adolescence adolescence yeah ah the trials and tribulations of being a dad the trials and tribulations of being a dad Which, hey, segue. What a great jumping off point. Talking about dad stuff. Specifically, Father's Day stuff. Because Father's Day was recently, it was a couple weeks ago. And I had recently done a webcast. I was talking about it for a little bit. And I was kind of just expressing my opinions on Father's Day. I had a few. I had a few. I had that webcast all ready to go. It was packaged. It was edited. Edited. It was posted. It was up on the YouTube channel. All of the title cards and everything, you know, the tags, keywords, search, optimization, all that fun stuff was done. It was just ready to go. All you had to do is just hit that button. Post. Sometimes, sometimes, 
I will rewatch webcasts if I'm kind of unsure. I'm glad I did because I rewatched it and it's just like, eh, this. It's not that good. It's not that good. It's like, I was trying so hard not to, not to, not to cause offense. To be as, 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 you know, good and inclusive as possible while still trying to be as factual as possible, but at the same time, trying to be considerate of other people's, you know, whatever their flavor in this world happens to be, or however they define families and stuff like that. And, and I was being so cautious and considerate that I actually started to kind of muddle my message. I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to really articulate all that well, I mean, really at all. I rewatched it and like, I'm the guy talking, I'm the guy saying the thing. And I'm like, I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know what I'm trying to say at different points. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Okay, this is dumb. Okay, no, no, no. We're not doing this. Delete. 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 No webcast for you. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Yeah, another tour. Another tour. Mickey Ziki. Meek. Meek Zik. Meek Zik. Meek Zik. This way. Dum dums. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, babies. <laughs> Come on. He's like, well, when you call us dum dums, you think that that's going to make us want to actually get up and just saunter on over to you? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to reattempt. the uh some of my father's day hot takes and i'm just gonna be a little bit more just kind of hey just kind of go with the fl just going with the flow and this is just how it is and hey we're just having fun we're just having fun just trying to take things so seriously fun stuff fun stuff and here we go first i kind of think father's day is kind of dumb Okay, let's just get that. <laughs> let's just get that out of the way. It's kind of dumb. Kind of dumb. Well, why do you don't think you think fathers are dumb? I have never said fathers are dumb, or I didn't say appreciating fathers. The sentiment of, of appreciating fathers is uh, is not dumb. I think I think dads are very important. I think that when when you don't have, you know, a, a father figure in your life, then. That is something that actually uh, works to significant detriment, and that works for men and women, boys and girls, and or whatever, however, whatever part of the spectrum. Dads are important, just for development, for confidence, all that fun stuff. Helping you just kind of understand the arena in which you work in, the, the, the arena of life. But Father's Day... Eh. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. The Mother's Day, very important. Very important. I think it is very important. It's very important to society. I think it's more important than Father's Day. I just do. Uh, it's for a couple of different reasons. We'll get to them. We'll get to them. I remember I was talking to my dad. He's like, it's a Hallmark holiday. It's how the people, oh, it's how they get you the Mother's Day. It's how that one started. And then, then they were like, well, that worked. So let's just keep the train rolling. We're going to sell some more cards. And it's like, all right, fine. Mother's Day could have easily started off as a Hallmark holiday. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, it worked. And it caught uh, the, the, the whimsy of the people. And it got thrust into the zeitgeist. Okay, it got thrust into the zeitgeist of our culture and our time. When you look back on it, there, there have been cultures and religions that have 
For millennia, for centuries, they've celebrated just the archetype of, of the mother. The life-giving mother. You find that in uh, all sorts of different uh, philosophies and religious beliefs, both, uh, you know, common and uncommon, ancient and new. That's just a thing. It's just a thing. It's a common thing. So, sure, Hallmark is just like, hey, let's see if we can just kind of, let's see if we can make some cash. Let's see if we can capitalize on, on this. Let's see if we can sell some cards. Whatever. However it started, it's turned into something different. It's turned into something different. People caught on. People did it. And then they're just like, yeah, this is, we're really going to do this. We believe in this. We believe in this as an idea. And that's a good thing. Because here's the thing. I think Mother's Day, it's more important in, in, one, in one, of the, one of the ways. Not just, not just, this isn't my whole thing. But one of the ways. And I don't think that people talk about it. Or maybe they don't even realize it. I think one of the ways that Mother's Day is super, super important is it actually is more for the guys than it is for the girls. <laughs> it is. It's more for the guys. In, in just this one way I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, because generally speaking, by and large, and a lot of times when I talk about some of this stuff, generally speaking, by and large, I'm talking about statistical averages. I'm not talking about extremes. I'm not talking about outliers, because of course there are extremes. Of course there are outliers. And if you happen to find yourself somewhere on a non-normative end of a spectrum, that's fine. That's fine. Just because I'm going to be talking about some of those kind of like you know, large-scale, widespread commonalities doesn't necessarily mean I'm talking about absolutes. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. Yes, in some ways, very important ways, Mother's Day, it's, it's, it's for the benefit of guys. Because, by and large, like, women tend to be a little bit more kind of agreeable and men tend to be a little bit more kind of uh, conscientious. Women tend to be more concerned with people. And guys tend to be a little bit more concerned with things. That doesn't necessarily mean that you can't find women who are conscientious or that you can't find men that are agreeable. You can absolutely find that kind of thing flippity-flopped. It happens. It happens. But for the most part, women agreeable, men conscientious. That means women, women are just like naturally geared to just like be considerate. They're naturally geared to think about people, okay? Generally speaking, when you're talking about, you know, those traditional kind of male-female partners, men and women, stuff like that, moms and dads working together, raising a family, it's like you don't need to remind the woman, like, hey, like, appreciate, like, the dad needs to be appreciated. They just kind of just do that. And then they say to the kid, like, hey, like, oh, there's dad, yay, dad, dad, yay, yay, dad, yay, dad. And it's just like, that happens. It happens. And for the guys... Now, for the guys who may not necessarily always kind of naturally, they may not just always naturally just kind of fall into that whole thing. It's kind of helpful. It's like, oh, yeah. here's a guys here. Mark, mark the calendar. Mark the calendar. Don't forget. Appreciate the moms in your life. Whether it be your mom, or your sister, your coworkers, your wife. Your girlfriend, whatever it is, if there's a mom, don't forget that that is kind of sort of an important thing. And then the guys are just like, oh yeah, it is. I should probably do something. <laughs> I should probably, hey, hey, thanks. Thanks for like doing that mom, thanks for doing that mom thing. Thanks, Hallmark. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of part of it, that's kind of part of it, but yeah, it's just, uh, Father's Day, just, it's kind of, it, it was kind of like an afterthought, it's just kind of like, Mother's Day, this is such an amazing thing, and oh my gosh, moms, I'm sure that there's probably just like some guys, maybe a little bit more on like the... Yeah, I don't know. I'm <laughs> agreeable, but maybe they're a little bit. Just kind of like, hey, you know, this guy's like, well, if you want, the, those guys are just like, well, if you if you want to talk about equality, well, how come we don't have 
Father's Day. And then most everyone is just like, shut up, dude. <laughs> just, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, hey, well, you know, like, equal. And it's like, that's just, you know what you're doing. <laughs> but, like, I don't really... Like, Father, it's just like, whatever. If Here's the thing. If everyone in my family, and I'm, and when I say this, I'm not even joking. I'm not even exaggerating to make a comedic point or anything like that. But if every single person, if Heidi and all of my kids, if they forgot, if I didn't get any text messages like, hey, happy Father's Day, if I didn't get any of that stuff, I'd be fine. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't care. I'd be like, ah, yeah, it's all... People are like, hey, it's Father's Day. And if I didn't get a single text, I'd be like, well, you know, another day. It's fine. It's fine. I already get it. I get that. I get it a lot. I get appreciated. I feel appreciated. And even when you don't feel appreciated, a lot of times if you're a dad, all you got to do is like, if you're, if you're making sure that everyone around you is good and they're provided with stuff, we'll get more into that in a little bit. You don't need to be appreciated. You just got to provide. That's it. That's where you get your bread and butter. That's where you feel like you're worth something. All the other stuff is secondary, as far as dads are concerned. All that other stuff is secondary. But seriously, if they forgot, it's fine. Then it's like they don't forget. It's like, oh my god, we got you a card. And we got you some gifts that technically you bought yourself, but we took your credit cards. And this is like, oh thanks. Thanks, guys. You're so sweet. Hi, Milo. But that's the other thing. Getting gifts. Getting gifts. And I'm not talking about if you're a guy getting gifts, okay? Because if you're a guy getting gifts, like, you're just like, oh my gosh, toys, things, toys. Okay? I'm not talking about just guys getting gifts. I'm talking about dads getting gifts. Dads are hard to get gifts for. Okay? So hard to get gifts for. Some of the hardest creatures in the world to get gifts for. There's a reason behind that. There's a reason behind that because here's the thing. When you become a dad, when you become a dad, it's like you pass through a membrane into another dimension. Tracking with me? You pass through a membrane into another dimension and you are equipped. You're equipped with a newfound uh, bunch of dad skills. You know, being able to wear a fanny pack with socks and sandals in public, no shame. You tell some of the best jokes ever known to humankind. Not Nicolina. How you doing? Great, how are you? Super. And also, you become tremendously skilled at resource acquisition. You become tremendously skilled at resource acquisition. Because that's the whole thing about being a dad. That is the thing. It's like genetically encoded into us. Gather resources. My people need me. I must get things for them. I am compelled in my DNA to get things. I went and got things. Here are your things. Oh my gosh, he's so good at getting things. He's really attractive. That's how that works. <laughs> it is. It's how it works. So, if you're really good at just going out and getting stuff, whenever you see something that you want or that you need, you don't wait. You just get it. You just get it. There's a thing I want, and it's mine. And it's mine! Ah, I have the thing. This pleases me. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got a lot of people in the upper. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport down to the lower. Oh my gosh, Solano just got some new toys. He is very happy. He is very happy with this development. New ball. Life is good. Life is good. Okay. <laughs> now it's not to say that women are not good at resource procurement. Not saying that. Not saying that. Um, I just think that by and large, 
at least as far as my experience is concerned, women tend to view the act of receiving gifts a little bit differently than men. And I have a theory about that. I have a theory. Okay? My, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. And it's okay if I'm wrong. Also, he's just having fun. And if you're looking at this stuff and just like, yeah, saying things that are just like, you know, not everyone fits in these sort of categories. And I'm like, like I said, like I said before, I know that not everyone does. I know that there's probably, oh, there's probably very, very like conscientious women and very, who are partnered with very agreeable men. And a lot of times I'm sure that those gender roles are kind of flipped. And I'm sure that there's other people, you know, it's like, well, it's like, you know, I live in a, live in a home with two dads. So, uh, you know, Mother's Day kind of really doesn't factor into the equation. It's like, well, there you go. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but anyway, going back to it, I don't think, I think that women and men kind of view presents uh, by and large differently. And when we're talking about kind of like on that, uh, uh, that statistical curve, I think that the act of receiving gifts, because again, women can go out and get stuff that they want. They can go out and get stuff that they need. But um, like I said before, women tend to, on, a, on average, they tend to be more agreeable. They tend to be more invested in people and they tend to like have more investment in like, like emotionality of, of situations. Um, and then just kind of like that, that energy, that vibe, um, making sure that like the families are, you know, are good and that people's needs are being met in that regard like that's they will just naturally kind of gravitate towards that moms have amazing amazing capacity uh you know to be able to to impact their environment by being so receptive to to what people like the radiation that people are given off tremendously emotional tremendously emotionally resonant you ladies are <laughs> but so you got you got guys who are very good at resource acquisition, okay? Like we like we've said, and oftentimes more conscientious. So they don't always focus on people, or they don't like a lot of times. It's not even about like they're we're trying to be mean. Sometimes we just don't even consider that emotions are a thing. Like we just don't factor them in. It's we're not trying to like just be just like yeah you dumb and with the things. It's just like ah crap. Like I my my calculus did not factor that. Whoops. It's just like, I can't believe you said that. That that really hurt. I'm like, God, God I'm dumb. <laughs> I've, I've been in those situations. And it's not to sit there and say, like, well, I'm being sensitive. I don't, I'm not one of those idiot guys who's just like, oh, she's being sensitive. It's like, no, you're being, you're dumb. That's, you missed the point, you idiot. You completely missed the point. Um... Uh, so the act of, I would say, the act for a lot of women to be able to receive gifts from the person in their life who doesn't always consider the thoughts and feelings of other people, like that kind of means more. If you have like a you know, a guy who was just like focused on resource acquisition and making sure to provide and just doing stuff and things. And just, they kind of just go forward, just kind of like a robot lasers. I'm sorry, I mustn't, I can't consider things. For that individual to stop and say, ah, I look, I love you so much. And thank you for everything that you do. And thank for all the sacrifices that you make and what you provide to our unit, making everything whole, we wouldn't be nearly, we wouldn't, we wouldn't function as a family without you. You do so much for us. We love you. We love you. We love you. To like, to have that, to have that sort of message or that sort of sentiment come from someone who historically doesn't just, that's not, that's not naturally how they align themselves. That means that they kind of, they take more out of their day to be able to simply do that and it just it means more and then when you get to the flip side basically you've got like a guy who oftentimes oftentimes you know they're like partnered with a person who is very considerate always like there's considerate and appreciative and just doing all that stuff and it's like like Heidi she's wonderful she I, I don't I don't ever feel like I'm not appreciated by her 
Certainly not. So, the like when when Father's Day rolls around, she's like, "Here's another day of appreciation," and it's just like I just put it with all the other days. <laughs> that's that, that's fine. Don't worry about it. He's. You're so, you're so emotional. <laughs> ah, I kid, I kid. All right, there we go. I think that one, that one went way, way, way better, way better than the, the other one. That and it wasn't because people are like I hope you got. Oh man, it must be too hot for TV, Derek. Must be real salty. It must be like loaded with swears and stuff. It's like no, I just. I think I was just trying, I, I was just too, I was too concerned, you know, like, oh no, people are going to sit there, they're not, they're not going to think I'm being intersectional enough, oh, and I just kind of said like, you know what, just let it go, and just speak your mind, and just, but still try to, you know, be considerate, and just have fun, and just relax, just relax not that big of a deal that's what I had to tell myself so that's what I did and I think it turned out a lot better so thanks for watching this episode of the walk around the compound webcast I appreciate you taking the time to watch this one hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section down below and I will see you folks I'll see you folks I guess on Tuesday unless I post, post, post some other kind of miscellaneous videos which I think I might I actually posted I filmed a bunch of different just little things. So yeah, you'll probably see other stuff. Anyway, bye-bye.